Hello everybody and welcome to a Raising the Difficulty video on how to set up your Elgato Game Capture HD to live stream on uh, Twitch.tv, YouTube, RTMP, lot, four different websites that the Elgato Game Capture HD supports. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the live streaming drop down arrow. You want to open it up and go over to where it says, it should look like this right now. It should say you have no accounts, server automatic. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to register your one of your accounts to the live streaming out of one of the four that I told you about I'm going to be live streaming to Twitch so I'm going to want to type in my username and password so I'm going to type in raising the difficulty my password is none of your business and once it loads up if it loads up that'll tell you that you've been registered and then you're gonna wanna click your server that you're wanting to stream from I live close to Dallas um, you're looking for the one with the smallest MS um, depending on which city you live closest to your MS's will differ I live close to Dallas so Dallas is the one that I'm going to wanna click on Um, this is the title of your live stream, whatever you want to title your live stream. I'm just titling it live streaming. If I click that arrow on the right, it'll update my title. Bitrate controls the quality of your live stream. Whether, and it also, how much CPU usage your computer uses if, and how much internet you need. If you want to know if you have the ability to live stream, go over to speedtest.net and click begin test it'll load up it'll find a server closest to where you live and it'll register what your internet speed will be and it'll tell you what bitrate that you should set your game capture HD software to in order to have the clearest quality of streaming based on the internet that you have I've got about a 17 download speed and about a 4.7 upload so this upload speed right here is what you're going to want to pay attention to upload speed since mine's a 4.69 I know that I don't want to have my bitrate go above 4.69 and I want to have it about a thousand megabits less so instead of going to 4.6 I want to go to 3.6 or 3.5 3.5 as my bitrate will enable me to live stream in 720 HD 720p which is HD check my settings you don't need to do anything here it's just some personal preferences so once you've got all your settings set up you click this button in the top left corner it'll start to connect you to your streaming account you can title the video if you're gonna record um, type in the name of your game there description tags and once it's got that green light glowing you can head over to your twitch channel and you should be live just gotta type in my username and my password sign into my twitch account head over to my channel Watch Dogs was the last game that I played. Um, so while I let the advertisement load, I'm going to want to go back over to my game capture software where I typed in none for my game title. Depending on what you type in here is going to depend under what game category you appear under for your Twitch. The last thing that I streamed was Watch Dogs. If I wanted to stream Call of Duty, then I would type in Call of Duty and you have to type in the pri the proper title for the game that you're streaming exactly how twitch has it displayed you can't just type in CODBO2 you need to actually spell out Call of Duty Black Ops 2 make sure that you've got all your settings set up you've got your video titled your bitrate set up to the highest quality that you want to be able to stream to and just reload your twitch channel and once mine loads up, I'll show you that it worked. I'm streaming my PlayStation dashboard right now. 
And there it is. That's as easy it is. is that's as easy as it is, guys. Very simple to be able to live stream using your Elgato game capture software. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, or if you didn't enjoy the video, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe.